doing e-commerce for quite some time. And then there's a lot of you in here that are brand speaking new. You're still struggling to find a product or launch your first Facebook ad. So I try to build and design these trainings to be tailored toward everyone, right? So some weeks we'll do some stuff that's mega advanced and some weeks we'll do some stuff that's more beginner friendly. And I know this week, especially I have a lot of new members to the profit power hour that will have joined recently. So uh, I want to congratulate you. If you are new to this series, we do this every single week at 9 PM EST. There's a brand new fresh training here and available for you. We give away cash money every single week. So the deal is, you get on my webinar at 9 p.m. EST, you get educated, you get to see inside of my business and you know what I'm doing with Facebook marketing, with Shopify, with digital marketing. You know, we, we do a lot of stuff. And you get the opportunity to win some money, right? So this is a win-win scenario here. And every week I have a brand spanking new training, okay? So you'll see my welcome screen is a little different this week, it's because I'm on my laptop um, and I've been traveling. I've been in now uh, New York City. Uh, I flew up here to film some content with Ty Lopez that I will be releasing in the future uh, in a program I'm creating. A lot of my students on here will see in the future. Uh, filming some stuff for his community, then uh, funnel hacking in Tennessee. So that's where we're headed right now. And then after funnel hacking live in Tennessee, uh, where I'm hosting a round table, by the way. Uh, so if you're at Funnel Hacking, come and see me at the round tables. And then I'm headed to San Diego to traffic and conversions. Now, right now, because I am on an airplane, right? Uh, we just could not schedule travel around uh, the Profit Power Hour today because of the conferences. I've had to pre record this training, okay? So it's a little bit earlier in the day. Uh, this is a completely fresh training. Uh, I just like to be up front with y'all, you know, let you all know. So right here, you'll be able to see me. I'm going to pop on the webcam real fast because I'm streaming on really crappy internet right now. So I want you all to see me. What's up, everybody? You can kind of see uh, the hotel bed and everything in the background. I'm not going to leave my webcam on because since we are streaming on crappy internet, I don't want it to slow down uh, the video and the screen share and all that good stuff for you. So um, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have you here. I'm excited to give away money tonight. And of course, you know, we do these every single week and I have fresh training. Now I'm going to turn my webcam off. So for tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to go over some product research strategies. All right. So different strategies and different places that you can go and you can see to generate um, ideas. Right. And before we do that, I want everybody to go to the Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash profit ph. And I want you to remind everybody to get on because usually about this time in the webinar, we are almost maxed out. We have over 10,000 regs almost, and we can only let a thousand people get on. So generally speaking, by this time, we have about 50 or so slots left. So go ahead to the group and just go type in everyone get on the profit power hour right now. Adrian teaching part one of launching a six figure e-commerce store with product research hacks and share that, tell everybody to hop on. And when I'm able to, after the webinar, I'm going to go and I'm going to choose a random person and I'm going to give away $200 cash prize money. All right. So 200 bucks cash prize money, and you're going to be able to, uh, to win, uh, just completely at random for those of you that are new. There's no system to cheat or anything like that. It's random giveaway. Also, um, only post once, all right? So don't go spam my group and post 20 times or you're disqualified. This is just a reminder because life gets in the way, people forget, and it happens, right? So uh, a lot of people appreciate the reminders to hop on these webinars. So today, what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you some ways that myself and other big marketers find viral and trending products to start marketing. And I'm gonna to try to keep this because of travel and everything to about 45 minutes to, to 50 minutes today, could be even less. I want to just pop off a couple of resources, tools, strategies, and ideas that you can get for 
uh, you know, product research and finding a product. So uh, let's just come over here. I'm just going to come down to the bottom of my Google Doc. I'm not going to write today. I'm not going to be writing on my white pad. Uh, it just gets a little bit tough to stream that while I'm on hotel internet. So today what we want to do is we want to talk about product research strategies. So let's go ahead and let's type that out right here. So product research hacks. And we want to be able to quickly, efficiently, quickly and efficiently find products that are going to convert, right? That's one of the goals is you don't want to have to testing, right? You don't want to have to always be testing. And I'm just going to put this right here. Um, here's the thing with testing. I always say, you know, test, 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 test. But um, testing equals money. So here are some goals for us. Product testing equals a lot of money lost, right? It requires investment. How many of you in here would agree that it is important to test products? Yes, 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 yes. It's important to test products because if you don't test products, then you're not going to be able to find a winner. So product testing is essential, right? It is an essential thing to do uh, with e-commerce. But the thing is, you don't want to roll the dice. So there are two ways to do product testing for e-commerce, all right? Number one is roll the dice, all right? Roll the dice is kind of just like rapid firing, completely random products, all right? This is not recommended, but this is what most people do. Most people come in and most people roll the dice and that, well, you know, leads to money lost. When you roll the dice, you really have no clue what you're doing you lose a lot of money making mistakes, right? And you can end up just simply giving up, all right? When you're rolling the dice, that's kind of what happens, all right? <laughs> I mean, it is exactly what I call it, rolling the dice. You know, there are different games and casinos you can play, and, you know, you go and play, say, blackjack. There is a strategy to blackjack. You can count cards if you're really smart, but then there's going to the slot machine and just pulling the lever or there's rolling the dice on craps. You don't really know where it's going to land. It's all a game of chance and rolling the dice for e-commerce and for your business is never a wise move, right? So what I recommend you do is option number two, right? What you want to do is, you know, with click funnels, they call it funnel hacking, right? Going to somebody's funnel that's already working completely, going through their funnel and literally hacking, like ripping off their entire funnel, legally and ethically, of course, not like, you know, stealing their brand or anything. We're just copying the way and they do things. Well, you can do product research hacking. And what product research hacking is allowing you to do is, number one, it's duplicate what, what's already working, all right? And increase your odds of success, minimize amount of ad spend for testing, and it allows you to scale your business much faster. But the thing with product research hacking is, you need tools, all right? So product research hacking, which I'm gonna put over here, I'm gonna put it in bold, and we'll just go ahead and we'll put this in the color, let's just say green. All right, so product research hacking, you're gonna have to have some tools with this, all right? So needed, different tools can help. And basically what we're doing here is we are spying on the competition. We're also not only just, we're not also just buying on their product, but we're also looking at, you know, in some cases, what their upsells are, what their cross sells are, so on and so forth. Is everybody with me on this? Just say yes, if you're with me on this, product research hacking. All right, so there are a couple of free tools that you can use. 
for product research hacking. There we go. Free tools you can use. All right, so there's nothing for sale. You don't have to buy anything here. There are just some free tools that you can use to start looking at what other people are doing, other things that are selling, and of course, you know, uh, put those on your e-commerce store. So I'm gonna list some of these out for you, and then we're gonna go over all of them, all right? So the first thing that I like to look at, or one of the first things that I really like to look at is Etsy. All right, so let me just get bold, underline. Okay, so Etsy.com. This is great for print on demand hacking. All right, so Etsy.com is a really great place to find custom made products like coffee mugs and, and shoes and t-shirts and all of these things that you can see on print on demand. So for instance, if you're coming over here in your Shopify store and you're doing print on demand for let's just say, and I went over this a couple of months ago, um, I did a whole thing just on Etsy alone. But let's say that you're using the T-Launch app, all right? Remember, you want to create a six-figure store, all right? So if you wanna generate six figures with e-commerce, you have to have a product that's gonna get volume. You have to have a product that's gonna sell, right? So it's imperative that when you're choosing products, you choose stuff you know is working and is scalable, right? You're not rolling the dice saying, I feel like this could be a hundred thousand dollar product you're saying i know this can be a hundred thousand dollar product because it already is right i see it selling like gangbusters so with t launch we have different um different types of things like we have coasters we have cork coasters bamboo coasters these are new products uh we have power banks which are really neat uh power banks are huge right now because in the world that we now live in today right we are always on our cell phones. We're always on our iPads. And I see people, like, for example, uh, last night I was over at Ty Lopez's apartment in New York City in Manhattan. And this guy walks around with what he calls a brick in his back pocket. All of his staff and assistants all have these bricks is what he's calling them. And they're, they're basically power banks. Like each person has two different power banks because he's always on social media. He's always checking his businesses online because he makes lots of money with his various streams of income. And so their phones are dying consistently. So power banks in today's age are very, very valuable, very, very uh, big sellers. And if you can personalize a power bank, this is something that could be a big seller. Hooded blankets, wine tumblers, all right, I know wine tumblers and, and regular tumblers have always been huge. All right, there's all sorts of accessories like luggage tags, keychains, um, stickers. So I actually was talking to Ty last night and he told me about someone he knows that's running a seven figure per year business just selling personalized stickers. You see, what you wanna do is you wanna find something that is working. You wanna find a product that somebody's already making a lot of money with. You wanna duplicate it, maybe put your own spin on it, right? So you have all sorts of different things like drinkware and home goods and uh, dog bowls and just, you know, all sorts of stuff in print on demand. And if you were to come over here to my other favorite print on demand app, which is Pillow Profits, let me just find it real fast. You'll see that they got a couple of new products too. So they've got women's racerback tanks, they got these new mesh knit sneakers, which look a lot like the very popular Pumas, uh, these premium blankets and dresses. So there's all sorts of stuff over here. So let's just say that we hit Etsy and we want to do a custom coaster. So let's just say drink coaster. Now, look at this. Um, I can't help but comes up. So there might be some bad words that pop up, but you can immediately take a look at Etsy and see that they're doing coasters with slogans on them, like housewarming gift coasters. Um, they're putting different logos, different images, like they have pinup girls there, right? Old school hip hop drink coasters. Um, original, uh, the original Man in Black, Johnny Cash, 
uh, drink coaster, some of that stuff you would need to get licensing rights for. But things like this right here, like this is a great example of something that could work and could be very scalable doing some product research. So this person is selling coasters for 14 bucks. They're putting the state on the coaster with a heart in it, right? So look at this, they've got California, they've got Texas. Um, I'll go ahead and admit that I don't even know what those other states are just by looking at the shape, um, but they've got every different state in the US. So not only is this a brilliant and passionate product, but it's also something that is scalable, right? It's something that people can relate to. And if you take a look down here at their feedback, you can see, look at this, people love these. Great customer service, coasters are so great. I love it, the whip, I love the Whippet Marble coasters. Look, they're, not only are they doing states, and y'all know I'm real big into the dog niche, but they're also over here putting different little images of dogs, right? That's all they're doing is different little images of dogs over here, and they're selling hundreds of these coasters. Look at the reviews. So immediately, just right out of the gate, just kind of firing off from the hip, I have found a product that is already working. Now, Adrian, how do you find images of the heart in Texas and the, the dogs? Well, one thing that I do, if we're going the print on demand route, and we'll look at some other places that are not print on demand, is you can go to shutterstock.com and you can type in like um, Texas state with heart logo, okay? And let's see if we can find anything in here. Okay, so Texas, let's try Texas logo heart. Let's see if we can find anything. Okay, so we're fine. We're getting close just by you know popping some stuff off. All right, so here's like a outline of Texas with the American flag through it. Uh, Texas one love. So this is something that you could try, right? You could try hitting people on Facebook that are big in the patriotism and into Texas. And I'll show you how that works. You can get this image right here or one very similar to it. You could come over here to, uh, I don't think Pillar Profits does coasters. So you could come over here to T-Launch where they just launched their new coasters. And T-Launch is a free print on demand app, by the way, for those of you that have not used them before. And they're in the US, so they ship super, super fast. So you could do it on the bamboo coaster. Uh, which is really, really nice right here, all right? And it's a set of four for $15, right? So a set of four. So that's a pretty good deal for four coasters that are bamboo and custom printed. And you can put that image on there. Then you can jump over to Facebook ads. And I always kind of look at my targeting a little bit. And let's just say that I only want to target people for this campaign that are in Texas, right? So obviously, if they have a Texas coaster, it needs to be somebody that is living in Texas. Now, here is a quick little hack for something like this that I want y'all to know. By default, when you're targeting everyone in this location on Facebook, that means by you know IP address on somebody's phone, if they're in Texas, it's going to show them this ad right for your texas co uh, drink coaster or texas coffee mug or whatever it may be we, like we see the the coaster is selling on etsy so we know that it works but we don't want to market a texas coaster to everybody that's in texas i might be on a layover in an airport in texas and see that ad because facebook can see i'm in texas see this where it says people whose home or most recent location is in this area that does not mean that they live in texas that means that they are currently in, passing through, or traveling through Texas. But if you come over here to people who live in this location, right, it's gonna show you here that you can now target people who is home, whose home is 100% within this area. How many of you in here would agree that if you're trying to sell a Texas product, marketing to people in Texas, you should probably go in and change location to everyone in this location, to everyone who is living in this location, which is dramatically going to change things, right? That's something that I guarantee most of you have never done before, have never thought about before, have never 
uh, looked at before. A lot of you didn't even know that that was there, right? So that one little thing changes the game for you. Then you can come down here and you can start really looking at keywords like my heart is in Texas. Let's just see. Okay, so nothing comes up for that. Let's just type in uh, America. All right, so nothing comes up there. We're just kind of coming up with some of this stuff. So American flag, okay? Flag of the United States, 5 million people interested. Fly the American flag, all right? It's got 1.1 uh, million people interested. So, so we could pop these in here. <clears throat> now, the reason that we want to put these in here is because we're looking at potentially taking the state of Texas with a American flag embedded in it and putting it on a coaster. And you'll see that, you know, you can get this for pretty much every single state. And there's other options and other variants, but just trying to show you what you could do here. So that brings us down, you know, obviously to a more targeted group of people. Does that make sense? Let's just type in Texas. All right, Texas country music uh, comes up. Texas A&M University. All right, people that are passionate about Texas, right? So we could come over here and we can start looking and diving into the targeting and that's gonna give us a really good audience. So right now we're targeting 360,000 people that live in Texas, like their home is in Texas and they directly have said that they are interested in the flag of the United States and they fly the American flag. And if we wanted to get deeper into this, then we could do like people interested in Independence Day, people that just say America, which is kind of a slang term for America, uh, nationalism, patriotism from the American Revolution, America's beautiful, Memorial Day, the US military. And you're also gonna find people um, with stuff like this. And I need to move on, uh, but I could talk about this for days. You know, people that are veterans or uh, in the army or the Marines or the Navy, they're going to typically really convert well with American flag stuff because they serve the country, right? And so they have massive amounts of respect for the flag and the state that they live in. So this is a great way to go in and really hit people that would convert. And not just on a, a coaster, but you could probably take this and scale it across different products. So that was just out of the gate going on Shutterstock. Now, um, on Shutterstock, you'd have to pay for this image for licensing rights, or you could just get a graphic designer if you wanted to, to go make it, right? So Texas State Outline. And you'll see that there are just so many different graphics right here of Texas that you could use um, that are really, really neat, right? So it's up to you, all right? So that's just one idea. Let me just check where I'm at on time here because we got all sorts of crazy travel and stuff. All right, I'm 24 minutes into this. Let me take a sip of my drink. All right, now that's just simply using Etsy and print on demand, right? And that's just because I saw this one product and this one product, as you can see, is getting boatloads of sales. Oh, and by the way, if I wanted to come over here and copy what they're doing and kind of product hack what they're doing with the dogs, I could just say like um, pit bull outline because they're doing kind of these black and white uh, dog outlines. So we could get different outlines of pit bulls or we could even get something like this that's a heart uh, made of different pit bull dogs. And we, we would be able to then put that on the dog coaster. I don't know why this, this internet's loading so slow. So stuff like this works, like really weird, ugly stuff like this works. And we're not really rolling the dice here. We're not really taking a chance. What we're doing is we're going in and we are product hacking. So they're selling a set of two uh, for $8, right? They're selling a set of two of these starting at $8, which means they probably go for a bit more if you customize them and stuff like that. So always look at the prices, look at the reviews, and look at what other people are doing, right? Look at what other people are interested in. Uh, if I came over here and we wanted to look at a different product, let's just say, um, what do they call those? Let me come back over here to, it's a tumbler, T-U-M-B-L-E-R, okay. 
Cool. So if I came over here and I typed in wine tumbler, boom. We have another just insane amount of products that come up on wine tumblers that we can easily print on demand. Like you could literally just put, like have a graphic designer, get the top 100 names in America or in the world and print them across your tumblers and then run an ad to the world uh, basically run an ad on Facebook to people interested in wine, right? And then say, find your name. So you're not actually targeting people named Katie or people named uh, Laura. You're writing an ad that says, get you know 50% off our wine tumblers today, our personalized wine tumblers, uh, find your name, right? And when they click on your ad, it goes to your Shopify store where they can browse in alphabetical order and find their name. How would you do that? Well, simple, just get a designer off of Upwork or something like that to go in and make you some little graphics like this in cursive for the top 50 or top 100 names for women and the top 50 or 100 names with men. All right, how do you know what those are? Pretty simple. Um, and I've actually done this before and made hundreds of thousands of dollars doing this, by the way. Not on wine tumblers, but I did it with a different product. So if you just come over here to Google, and I come over here to Google and type in, let's just do top 100 female first names. All right, here's our top 100 girls' names for 2018, all right? So I don't see one that's up for 2019, but let's just, girls, okay, here we go, for 2019. All right, boom, here we go. Emma, Olivia, Ava, Isabella, Sophia, Mia, Amelia, Charlotte, Abigail, um, Emily. And you just send this, You legit, you just come over here to upwork.com because I, I don't know if you'll find all of those. It would be pretty expensive to buy graphics that are pre-done from like uh, Shutterstock that had names on them. So what I would do is I would take this link, I would come over here to upwork.com, and Upwork.com is a great place to find graphic designers for very, very cheap. So you can find designers and creators and you can create a job, right? And you can tell people that you're looking for um, graphics and design, boom. And you can, for free, you can set up a job. You could say this will take less than a week, boom. Um, how many hours per week will you need? I'll decide later. And you probably just need somebody of intermediate experience and boom now you can post a job of course you have to have an account with upwork which is completely free and say hey i'm looking for a graphic designer they can take the top 100 girls names and the top 100 guys names and uh put them into uh, a png or a jpeg or whatever and send them over to me and uh, different colors right and you could probably get this job done for a hundred bucks like i i pretty much would guarantee that you could get a graphic designer for a hundred dollars to do all of the names. You probably could get them to do it for fifty dollars, right? I bet you you could do it for fifty bucks, uh, and it's because it's simple. It's not real graphic design. It's just them using a different font. Um, a free way to do it would be to go over here uh, to Canva.com and let me just log in Canva real quick. And Canva.com is cool because it kind of lets you do stuff on your own for free. So if you're on like a major, uh, if you're on a major budget, let me just log in. Hold on. Let's log in. Here we go. Cool. So if you're on like a major budget and you want to do the work yourself, which I personally would not recommend doing, uh, then you would come over here to create a design in Canva. Um, you could get kind of any size over here that you that you feel necessary, like just the Facebook ad size. And you could come over here and easily just hit text, boom, um, grab all of these different fonts that they have available over here. So they have all sorts of different fonts that you could choose from. Uh, really just kind of depends, like here's one that is similar to what we were looking for earlier. 
All right, and I could just type in like, you know, Emily. Make this bigger. Let's see if I can make the font a little smaller here. Six. Let's do 88. There we go. So you would scale this to fit, obviously. You would scale this to fit the image. And you could download this and use this for free. Like you could then just go type all of the names yourself. Um, you could change the font of the names, change the color if you wanted to be like purple or whatever. Boom, 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 boom. But that would take a lot of work. My honest opinion is go to Upwork for a hundred bucks or for fifty dollars. Get somebody to go through this link here and go through all the top guys' names, all the top girls' names, and make you a graphic that looks really, really nice. And then you would jump over here to uh, the wine tumblers, the vacuum tumblers. Um, you could even come over here if you're doing like targeting baby stuff. Um, then you could put the name on the uh, baby body suits. Imagine having um, uh, something that said, hello, I'm Emily. Hello, I'm whatever on the baby. So that would be like a great baby gift to someone who's had a newborn, right? So these are just ideas that you can do that are very personal that people are going to identify with. They're gonna identify with their state. They're gonna identify with their flag. They're gonna identify uh, with their child. They're gonna identify with their dog. So when you're product hacking, it's not about just ripping off somebody's exact product. It's about taking the concept, right? And then being able to do something even bigger and even better. And you know that you're not rolling the dice, right? you know that you are going to Etsy, you're finding stuff that's getting sales, you're finding working ideas, and you're duplicating what's working, but you're doing it in a slightly different way. And this is gonna increase your odds of success. It's gonna minimize the amount of ad spend you have for testing because you know that it's something that works. Now, if we're looking at AliExpress products, right? Um, there are other tools that we can use outside of Etsy, all right? So one really great place that you can look is winalo.co um, and that is right here all right so winalo.co not com but dot co all right now that's going to bring you right here to this home page and this is like a list of just super popular products um, across the internet and it's a great product research app um, this is somewhere where you can go and you know people come here and they shop and they find stuff um, to purchase like these sunglasses for 1995 super super popular website been around for a very long time like when i started with e-commerce uh when alo was around right when alo was hot when alo was a place that we all went to so was a place that we all went to to find product research ideas the so mass um product research ideas and this is going to be stuff that's more like aliexpress now, something that a lot of people don't know about Winalo is how to find their best sellers and the stuff that's most popular. Because you get here and you're like, oh my God, like look at all of this. A lot of this is not relevant. Like Yeezys are not relevant to us. Um, you know, Louis Vuitton swimsuits are not relevant to us. We can't sell some of this stuff. So how do we find stuff that we could sell that's popular right now? Well, if you come up here to the address bar, so if you come up here to the address bar at the top where you're typing in Winalo and you just put a forward slash popular, immediately it's going to change the game. All right. So immediately it's going to show you what are the most popular products that are selling on Winalo. And you've got right here these fashion jewelry rings that look very similar to Cartier's, but they're not, which are very, very popular. This is like this right here is a product I feel like could work really really well because it's not a ripoff of cartier it does not say cartier it's just a ring with some little um you know screwdriver uh spots in it and everybody wants to wear these rings right like these are very expensive i bought my wife one of these um i should know it is a very expensive product and it's not easy to afford this type of stuff unless you've got money to blow and you'll see reviews under this. Came quickly, looks great. I love it. 19 days ago, they got an order. 13 days ago, let me zoom in on this. So this is stuff that's selling right now. 
13 days ago, 19 days ago, about a month ago, two months ago. And these are just reviews. You know that like maybe 1% of your customers come back and leave reviews. So this is something that clearly sells. It's something that people clearly like. And what's great about this ring right here is this is something that people can wear and they kind of feel like they're, you know, giving off the vibe that they're wearing one of these expensive high fashion rings, but they're getting it for $6 instead of $6,000, right? And you would not market this as Cartier. You could see they're marketing this as a new fashion uh, jewelry screw shape ring, right? So that's what they're doing. It's just a play off of something that's really, really popular. So if we were to come over here, let's say to <clears throat> Google, and we were to type in Cartier um, screw ring, you'll see that these Cartier screw rings, which look very similar, right? They're, they're much thinner. Um, you know, you can tell that this one definitely, the one we were looking at on one Alo is very different. In other words, it's not like a direct copy. It's just as inspired by, but you can see that these rings are selling for 2000 to $5,000 and it's a huge brand. So of course people aren't going to want to pay that, but you can go over here and see that there are similar styles, right? That are selling like hotcakes that might be able to do well on your own e-commerce store, as long as you're not like copyright uh, infringing. So you, you could just come over here and do fashion screw ring on AliExpress. Okay. And you'll see over here, there are tons and tons and tons of rings that are very similar. Uh, rings that look like they have nails on them, rings that have the screws in them, rings with the little stones in them. And once again, you just want to make sure that when you're doing something like this, you know, you're doing it the right way and that you're not, you know, getting anything that says like, you know, Cartier on it um, or anything like that. Like this ring right here is really cool. It's a play off of um, that other style, but it's very, very neat. It says beloved on it. Actually, I like that a lot. That's pretty, that's pretty dang cool. So you can go in and you can sell products that are working really good. Now that's just off of the first search on Manalo. That's it. Like we didn't even look too far, but as I scroll down, you'll see that there are a lot of different things on here that you can find like these, um, super good these what are these called i know these are super popular right now i see a lot of influencers on instagram posting these uh waist i think it's called a waist trainer is what it is so uh we can see that this is a popular item we can come over here to aliexpress waist trainer boom check this out nine bucks 14 bucks 16 bucks all sorts of waist trainers right here. Very, very popular. Once again, people that are wanting to fit in, people that are passionate about, you know, looking uh, healthy, right? That are wanting to lose weight. They're wanting to achieve a, a smaller waist. I, I really, I personally think that these are ridiculous, but um, I know that Kim Kardashian uses them. And I know that these are very popular amongst uh, various big influencers and people our followers by nature, so they see celebrities using waist trainers, what do you think all of their followers are gonna wanna do? A huge segment are gonna wanna use waist trainers, right? So just coming over here and looking at popular products that I can see are already working, bearing in mind, we're not selling Gucci or Louis Vuitton, we're looking for the things on the popular page that matter to us. Like, check this out. This is another little hidden gem that we, we can find right here. It's a little sea turtle belly button ring, okay? This right now, this is very popular on Manalo. It's on the home page of popular, right? So we have the silver turtle belly button ring, okay? Let's come over here to AliExpress and I'm just trying to show you how quickly you can find things. So not the exact one, but here are some turtle belly button rings. So now, how do you target something like this, right? Well, I mean, you come over here to Facebook ads and let's just get rid of Texas. Let's put, you know, let's, so we can see what our real target audience is. United States, 
pop over here. Let's make sure people, everyone's location. Okay. And we could do C, turtle. Now, these are people that are interested in sea turtles. So, like, I love sea turtles. Let's just see if something comes up. All right, nothing for that. But down here, if you want to find somebody super passionate, Sea Turtle Preservation Society, okay? <clears throat> just showing you all real fast. Um, sea Turtle Oversight Protection. Right, these are people that are mega, mega interested in sea turtles. Right, turtle can uh, well just sea turtle has four million people on it. Marine conservation, defenders of wildlife, like these are oceanic, uh, oceanic Pres preservation society. So these are some key words. Now this is not a mega scalable product, right? But this is something that you can hit real quick, hit it real hard, and really reach people. That might be interested in it and maybe not even a belly button ring but maybe a set of earrings or a bracelet that has to do with sea turtles see once again we're taking a product that we found over here on manela we say okay well this is a sea turtle belly button ring not everybody has their belly button pierced but most women have their ears pierced right so i could come back over here and now that we know there's a nice little niche market And, oh, I spelled jewelry wrong. How about this? There we go. 237 different options if we did it in earrings or if we did it on a necklace, right? So this is how you find little things that work, right? I know somebody that's making an insane amount of money selling stuff with cows. Um, I actually know somebody that's obsessed with turtles. He says every time he sees anything turtle related, he buys it because he's obsessed with turtles. So you can make a lot of money off of just super freaking weird niches like this. Uh, coming over here and using sites like Winelo. Let's look at one more. Let's see if we can find one more in here. And this is how you start out going in and testing products that you know have a really, really good opportunity of success, right? So let's see what else we have. There's a mason jar over here. How about this? What is this? This looks interesting. Starfield Simulation Light, okay? This one has two reviews. It doesn't look like it's mega hot. Um, let's see. I got this, and you have to put it all together yourself. It's amazing once you get it together. This uh, is great. Reminds me of when I walked into a bonfire together. So always go in and read reviews. This is actually pretty old, so I would skip this, right? So that one's not getting a lot of traction. Uh, anklet bracelets, okay? see what else we got all right so I, I haven't signed in my account so I can't look at more but if you sign in it's free um, and you can easily uh, just continue to scroll through the most recent popular items uh, a couple of other places that you can go um, I got this idea from a buddy of mine um, here is another website called shut up and take my money I love the name of that so let's just write that down so first off, you want to go to wanamaleo.com slash popular. Shut up and take my money.com. <clears throat> and this, this is cool because it kind of organizes things by um, category of clothing, books, uh, the best of uh, the site, uh, beer and wine, gaming, gifts for her, gifts for him. So obviously looking at the best of, um, to me would stick out more than anything else because this is probably probably like their best sellers or things with best ratings. There's all sorts of weird stuff on here like Star Trek sushi set. Um, obviously you can't sell Star Trek stuff because you are um, you don't have licensing capsule pet travel backpack. That is weird. All right, but it's selling on Amazon for $60 right now. I love how it says take my money. So you can easily click on this. It'll take you to Amazon. You can read reviews. So it is an animal capsule backpack. It's got like airs, air uh, pockets in it. Um, it's $50. They have a boatload of reviews. If you come down here and look, um, let's look at how many stars they're getting. 
So just coming and looking on Amazon, 71% of the people that purchased this got five stars. And this is kind of like how you can use Amazon to find gems that you can sell on Shopify. Watch this. All right, so here's actual people taking pictures with their pet. And like this person's got a freaking bird in it. Oh my God. They got their, oh, I can't even believe it. Uh, it's like, who would have thought about this? Like, who would have thought that people would buy a backpack like this, put a little rod in it for their bird, and then drive, ride around on their bike with a stupid bird? Like, it's just crazy. It doesn't make any sense to me. And, and already out of the gate, like, I'm seeing everybody in here using this for their cats. There's one puppy that's in this. So there's one little puppy in there. Um, I guess if you're traveling with your pet, it's, it looks like you know their pets are comfortable, that little cat's asleep. But out of the gate, just by looking at this, if I was to target a group of pet owners uh, with this backpack, if we can find it on AliExpress, would this be something that we hit for dog owners or cat owners? Well, just by looking at these reviews, and these are 2019 reviews, so this is not a old, uh, this is not an old product, okay? This is brand new stuff here. I would say cats because it looks like majority cat owners. Now, this is a shot in the dark. Let's just see if on AliExpress, because I'm really doing this completely off the cuff. Let's see if AliExpress has any of these. <laughs> I cannot believe it, but they do. All right, they have the same freaking style backpacks. Look, that almost looks like the same one, right? Look at this. They have all of these crazy capsule backpacks. And how much are these? It looks like $20, all right, 23 bucks. And remember, you can reach out to these vendors and you can get a way better deal using uh, Direct Connects to the vendors and using Oberlo. And you could probably get these for a decent bit cheaper, right? So now what we do is we come over here to Facebook and we start looking at audience insights and we start looking at uh, you know, the different keywords we can hit with cat. So I heart my cat. Okay, nothing comes up. I love my cat. Boom. All right, now, once we find a good precise interest, it's going to give us suggestions like cat lady, um, cat fancy magazine. Um, so it's going to give us a couple of suggestions like cat fancy magazine. That'll give us some more suggestions, right? Must love cats. So now what we're doing is we're finding very, very, very precise cat keywords and we can then start selling this weird item, which clearly already works because it's on one of the most popular things on this website, shut up and take my money. And we can see that it's got a lot of reviews. So this is just yet another tool in the arsenal that we can use. How about the skull uh, door handle or doorknob right here? Let's go take a look at this because it's in the best of. 14 reviews. Um, this is expensive, $153. That's why it's not sell. You have, you have not sold as many. Reviews on it are not that great. Uh, it's got 50% five stars, 36% four stars. All right, let's just see if we can find something similar over here. So, school doorknob. I don't see anything directly um, similar to that. So, but we still have a concept and we have an idea. All right, let's go look at some other stuff. Back over here on shut up and take my money. Let me just clear some of my tabs. All right, so over here on Shut Up and Take My Money, uh, where, where are we? Is this it? This is, this is why I'm broke. Hold on. I lost my spot. So Shut Up and Take My Money. Come. I must have X'd out of it. All right, so back over here to Best Of. And we're just going through what they say are their best sellers or the best of uh, their, their listings. And we're immediately finding products that work. So we got over here, uh, Harry Potter golden snitch light. That's not going to work because that's, that's going to be trademarked. Always be, keep in mind, trademark. Uh, Pokemon bookmarks. Uh, we've got, let's see what else we have over here. T-Rex toilet paper holder. That's so weird. Um, Marshall guitar amp key. So look for the things that are more generic, like 
the glow-in-the-dark element soap, which is very interesting, the Shark Attack cookie mug, right? This one right here, Let's. this is on Etsy. Okay, let's take a look at it. So this cookie mug over here, wow, this is like, they have a lot of reviews, 13,956 reviews. Look at this. Wow, this mug is selling like crazy here in 2019, all right? Not an old product. Once again, a new product. I would have never thought of something like this. Now, the real question is, is, is there anything similar to this on AliExpress? Because you win some and you lose some, right? So let's come over here and do shark attack cookie mug. I don't know. Let's see if there's. All right. So I don't see out of the gate a shark attack cookie mug, but we do see some cookie mugs. All right. So we just type in cookie mug. There's one with a biscuit pocket, one with a person's mouth that's open, uh, one with a unicorn on it. So we're taking proof of concept, like this one right here. It looks like a play off of the cookie monster. Uh, let's see what else we could find over here. So there's a lot of these that just have like the weird face on it. All right, so proof of concept is here, right here. So um, this doesn't directly say Sesame Street. That's not, doesn't look like totally a Sesame Street mug, but it, could, it plays off of it. So once again, we've discovered a weird niche. And if we really dug down we really did some research, then I bet you we could find something even more similar. I'm just running low on time, so I'm trying to run you through these different tools uh, that I use. So looking over here, where are we? Um, over here at this, another thing that you can do is you can say, you can message the seller directly and say, hey, I run an e-commerce store. Uh, I'd love to sell your Shark Attack cookie mugs. Uh, would you be willing to drop ship this for me? So never be scared to message a vendor on Etsy and add more value to them, right? And say, hey, I want to sell this mug. Um, will you drop ship it for me? Can I send you a list of orders and we just split the profit or I give you like a, you know, a 10% royalty because that's just sales that they would not be getting because they're on Etsy. They're not on Shopify, right? So this is something that you could really hit people with and look, uh, this also says live every week like it's shark week. So you could probably come over here if you were to connect with this particular vendor and let's see. Kyle, come over here and type in shark week. Yep. 1.7 million people interested in shark week. And then you could even probably narrow the audience down and you could target people interested in coffee because that's kind of, I know it's a milk mug, but I would love to see coffee too. Um, but you could also say cookies. All right. So cookies and cream, cookies and cups, all sorts of things that you could flex in here, right? Chocolate cookies. Um, so let's just say, see if anything comes up. It's looking for big keywords. All right. 1.5 million people. So you can flex that and we've got a 22,000 person audience. That's small, but you could probably cop some simple sales out of that and get some quick profit and then start to scale, uh, scale it a little bit higher, right? And you could also uh, flex shark week with other keywords. So remember that you can always flex your targeting and we'll talk more about that coming up in the future series of launching a six figure e-commerce store, but it all starts out with product research, right? So if we come back over here, Shut up and take my money, right? We're looking for proof of concepts, right? Proof of concepts. And we're looking for similar items. With Wanaleo, uh, we can most likely find everything that we're looking for on their own AliExpress. With Etsy, we're looking for great print on demand items uh, that we can put into T Launch and we can put into these other. Um, that we can put into these other print on demand apps. And I don't have a lot of time to go over this one, but this is another website called This Is Why I Am Broke that has some pretty cool and pretty interesting things on it that are really weird, like the pimple popping toy. This is pretty disgusting, but there are people all over the internet obsessed with watching, uh, you know, weird videos like this. So uh, th uh, this is gross, but let's just try it.
All right, so uh, pimple popping toy. My wife is in the background and she's she just said, ooh. But look at this. This is disgusting. Oh my God. Look at this. $7.94 pimple popping toy. Uh, this one is a this one right here is two dollars and twenty eight cents. Here's one with a weird little bobblehead face. Babe, this is gross. Oh my god, I can't believe I cannot even believe Dr. That, Pimple Popper got her own show. Well, Dr. Pimple Popper got her own show. I don't know who that is, but my wife says that it's she it, I don't know, got famous popping bumps. So people have these weird obsessions that I think are disgusting, that you think are odd, but you can cash out on these. And if you come over here and look at this very popular website, uh, shut up and take my money, and you come over here to Amazon, you'll see that this actually has 44 customer reviews. You'll see that uh, it's got a 59% five-star rating, uh, but it's selling, right? So this is something that is selling, and it's something that people are buying. So. Proof of concept is what we're looking for here. And it's it's weird, but this is something that we can go in and immediately start selling. So just looking at what other people are doing, looking at other popular products on these very popular sites, like this is why I'm broke, um, Etsy, uh, Winalo, shut up and take my money. These are all product research websites that I recommend you use. All right, so shut up and take my money. This is why I'm broke.com I'll give you a couple more highconsumption.com um uncrate.com is another great one so these are all fantastic websites that you can go to and do product research and listen you're not going to find every product that's on there that's crushing it you're not going to find on AliExpress but what you could do is try to find similar products you can try to find um obviously Amazon too, uh, but a lot of these link to amazon.com. You can find all of these products uh, on there and then just try to go find similar products of proof of concept, okay? So Etsy has always been great. Monelo has always been great. Um, Shut up and take my money has always been great. I learned about that one uh, not long ago. This is why I'm broke is another really great one. Um, high consumption is one I've used for a very, very long time, which I didn't have a chance to show today. Um, and Uncrate, another really great one. Uh, and then Amazon.com, obviously, is really, really great. And there's two or three more. They always have these weird names. Like, uh, I'll try to remember them and show them to you next week. Uh, but there's so many. Like, I could probably pop off 10 or 15 different websites that show these crazy products and they're always updating them and I go in I duplicate what's working I increase my odds of success I minimize my ad spend I'm able to scale my business faster and I have all of these free tools by just going and looking at other websites looking at what's working and I'm able to go in and crush it so part one of the Launching a six-figure store was just simply doing product research and using some of these different hacks uh, by going in, duplicating stuff, and proving you know the proof of concept strategy. So you're not rolling the dice. All right, so I'm going to leave these tools up here so y'all can write these down. Um, obviously, you know about Amazon, but what's great about sites like Winalo, Shut Up and Take My Money, This is Why I'm Broke, High Consumption, Uncrate. A lot of times the products that they link to are on Amazon. Well, not really what Halo, but these other ones. So I hope that you enjoyed the training. Once again, Adrian Morrison here. For those of you that are new to the webinar uh, this week, we're going through a multi-part series on launching your e-commerce store, getting it to six figures, all starting with product research hacks because these are little product research tools that you can use to find proof of concept, find products that work, then we can start using audience insights, looking through Facebook targeting, finding other uh, ideas that we can use as upsells and cross sales and apps that we can use to scale our store and build bigger and better audiences like we did last week with Audience Accelerator. And remember last night, uh, I'm sorry, last week we, get, we did Audience Accelerator. For those of you that wanna get into Audience Accelerator, you can still get in. And we still have it for a dollar trial, all right? You just go to 
profit ph.com AUD. I'm just going to make this big and I'm going to put it right here in the center so everybody can see it. Uh, and for those of you that don't know what that is, uh, if you watch last week's replay, it'll break it all down for you. It is an awesome tool that I designed that mass creates Facebook audiences for me. And it does it in a way that you would never, you could never imagine. Uh, and we've already had testimonials and success stories. Uh, people that are just like, holy crap, I can't believe I saved all of this time. So it's at profitph.com forward slash AUD. You can try it for uh, 14 days for a dollar and then it goes to $19 a month. Um, and it's just a cool tool that I know is going to help so many people out, all right? So that's it. Here are your free tools that you can use for product research. And I am going to go in the Facebook group if I can get live. I'm not sure if I can go live. Um, if I can't, I'll just randomly comment on somebody's post in the group that reminded people about the webinar. And I will give away $200 cash prize money. And remember, next week, we're going to start part two of launching a six-figure e-commerce store. So make sure that you get ready. You're there at 9 p.m. EST, Tuesday night on the dot. And let's freaking crush it. I love you all. I wish you a ton of success. If you're at Funnel Hacking in Nashville this week, come up to me, say what's up, shake my hand. And I'd love to take a picture with you. So just come up and say, let's get a selfie. And I want to meet you. Okay. So I will see you at Funnel Hacking live in Nashville, Tennessee, if you are here. And I, otherwise, I will see you next week here, same place, same time on the Profit Power Hour. Go in the Facebook group because I'm going to be giving away uh, $200 cash prize money very, very soon in the group, either via Facebook Live, if I can go live, or commenting under one of your posts if you reminded people earlier to get in the webinar. All right. I love you all. I'll see you next week. Good night.